right, so let me explain to y'all how this purchase happened. Yes, please do. All right. That is Miss Glamour Addict. Go visit her on her channel. <laughs> but while you're on uh, this channel here, this tech channel, and what happens is we're in one of our Airbnbs, mm -hmm. and I got a new gadget. Because, mm -hmm. of course, everybody know I'm a gadget guy. Mm -hmm. Now, over the last couple of months, in my honesty, I've been watching a whole bunch of Blackstone E-Series 22-inch indoor griddle videos. And can I interject by asking what brought you to watching those videos? Well, if you would have let me finish, I would have got to that. Okay. So what happens is I'm not a foodie, but normally somehow my wife and women feel like the complimentary to having a good time ends or begins with a dinner. I don't particularly care, but what I do like to do, I like to please, I like to surprise, I like to bring a smile. So only when I'm going to Benihana's will I get the same enjoyment of eating that the women in my life do. So, Last month, I decided to do hibachi in our house. Y'all can go watch that video on my Instagram, Bentley Rev. Uh, now, watching these tabletop griddles from Blackstone, I got hooked. So I went to Walmart as suggested. Didn't do it on Amazon because Amazon would have only gave me the tabletop. Walmart gives me the cart and y'all will probably see that as I put this together So what this is is the desire to continue putting the smiles on the people who love Hibachi and or food like your uh, What's the name of that thing? Oh, yeah uh, The cheesesteaks Perfect for cheesesteaks. I'm not a pancake and Turkey bacon chicken bacon guy chicken sausages guy but breakfast on here crazy from the videos i've seen uh, so you know what i'm gonna make hibachi steak chicken shrimp zucchini asparagus lobster hibachi maybe some teriyaki noodles maybe some scallops whatever we generally get at Benny Hanna's. I'm going to make it right here. I'm going to tell y'all, well, no, go to Instagram and see what I use because this ain't going to be the video to show you what I use. This is going to be the video of preparation of the tabletop griddle and maybe I'll blend it over to uh, the actual first cook. All right, we did invite some family and close friends over when I get it perfectly right. So that won't be in this video, but you might also watch that on Instagram. So let's get going. So now that he shared his story about how he came into play with this Blackstone, can I now share mine? Sure. Okay. So I noticed that he was watching a whole lot of uh, grill type videos, especially on the YouTube search history. It kept popping up in his feed. And then as sometimes I sit with him and he'd be watching stuff, I was like, wow, he's really watching this Blackstone thing. And then he was really drawn that it was a dual a dual sided. It had two sides. So you can cook at two different temperatures or cook and have one side super hot while you push the food to the other side and keep it relatively warm. So when he starts saying that, oh, this was in Walmart, this was in Walmart, I said to myself, and this was after the fact that Father's Day have since been passed, but I knew his birthday was coming up, so I said to myself, okay, he must really like this grill. 
because he is a man of hibachi. Everything about him is hibachi, hibachi. He loves Benihana. We have tried several other hibachi spots to dine at, but nothing ever compares to Benihana. And then once going to, well, after we've been to Benihana's quite a few times, he has since then mastered Benihana cooking techniques and flavor that they use to, um, oh, need help? Flavors that they use on their food. Oh, this is it out of the box. Wow. Maybe we should put it on the floor and we need to open it. A great unboxing. So anyhow, um, where was I? Okay, so he mastered the flavor, but the one thing that remains missing from the flavor is, oh, the actual grill. Let me get this, because this just fell. And this is kind of heavy. We don't even know what this was. Ooh. Okay. this real quick okay and we're back by the way I know it was a, a blunt cut but we just had to make sure everything else was together this is a weird unboxing I think this is the realest unboxing in the history of unboxing on YouTube no I don't even know where I left off with my story. Bottom line, here it is. Coming out of the plastic, the dual two-sided Blackstone tabletop grill complete with a stand that happens to come along with it. So cool, guys. Look at this. Wow. I know his arm is in the way. I'm trying to get it for you all, but look at that this is not food this is a picture okay guys this is a picture that's just the picture <laughs> huh oh my gosh okay so now what we're going to do is fully get it out of the plastic move these boxes get the pieces all together so he can begin putting it together i'll come back to you okay he's gonna come back to you. <laughs> okay i just put this on the table just so y'all can see the 22 inch isn't like big mm -mm. it's just bigger than the 17 so ideally let me tell you what rev may do i might just get another one and put them side by side mm -hmm. only when i'm cooking for the fan but let me just show you this real quick the hood comes down that's a nice look Hook goes up, locks into the things back there. This griddle slides right into the, uh, the things here. Wife got me a, a host of accessories, you know, for the cheese steaks and the steamed vegetables. You know, because of this surface, I really can't use the sharp Japanese blades, mm -mm. but I gotta get some. Uh, silicone knives and stuff you know to go with this set here so this is enough for this right here oh yeah i did get some some gloves you know for when we are and this right here in case we take this tabletop outside and the wife got some of the things that go back here to catch the grease so I'm gonna see how all this works. Right now, I'm gonna just go put the cart together, come back and show y'all the things as it's assembled. Okay. okay, so I just wanted to pause to show anybody putting this cart together. Kind of be mindful of some things that I think that we gotta pay attention to on the legs and wheels. So one, first let me show you on the legs. See, I had these legs, just four legs on it, but I noticed two of these legs don't have this little extra holes in it, and two do. 
So according to this description, one with the extra holes is kind of close to this part right here. So this, I think, is going to go where the tray comes. So what I did was I had to take the legs off and make sure I put these two legs right here. Then the wheels, I put the wheels on, but I took the wheels off just to show y'all that this little bag was at the bottom of the wheel thing. And so it has these washers in it. So I guess these washers go on the wheels before we put it on. And uh, don't be like me. I put the legs on first and then I tried to screw the wheels on with the legs upside down. Just take the legs off and twist the leg. That, that way it's much easier. And as you see, the washer will start flattening out because it wasn't flat before. And now that's tight. To be continued. So I took the legs off again because I just saw something on uh, YouTube on someone else's channel. I think it's the Grill and Chill, Grill and Chill channel. Uh, and he pointed out something that I saw that I was making a mistake. So for one, let me just go ahead and show you this right side up. Right side up is this thick back here. And as I did say, this here is for the uh, front or the left front, let's just say that. So we wanna put this side upside down with the big side to the back. I'm sorry y'all, I'm working on my glass table at the Airbnb. All right, so now that we got that there, we gotta take these screws here and take these screws and put them inside these slots, one and two, and then we gotta push it down to match the hole. Cause when we screw the leg in, it has to get tight. So that's what's gonna make it be tight, the stability pause. So I'll do that and I'll come back. I actually realized that I was doing something wrong. So I had to go to YouTube again and search and that's how I found um, Bro's channel. Perhaps I'll put his link in the uh, in the uh, links below. But I was having a problem trying to make this thing fit. <laughs> I'm one of those guys that don't like to go with instructions, but even when I get instruction and the stuff becomes cumbersome, I can get frustrated because I'm a gadget guy. It's almost like I'm supposed to know this. Nah, that ain't always it. Everybody needs help sometime, and I went to YouTube University for it. All right, so hold on again. Let me get some, let me get some direction here and some consistency with finishing this thing out, and we'll come back. Okay, just a quick update. I managed to get the screws in as I showed y'all, and I put it in by hand. I'll get the screwdriver or the drill secondly. I just wanted to make sure these things were tapped in properly. I'm guessing this is for the tray right there, but if you can see, I got the screw right there. So when that screw go in for that drawer right there, it works. All right. All right, so I ain't gonna lie. This here, this was easy. This here, like somebody said when I watched their channel, this wasn't hard, but this was definitely not easy. <laughs> Me two people, at least I did. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. And so, putting this together, you gotta be mindful of, of the legs. I thought I was doing everything wrong. These legs are different. I put this on here, and so the cord wraps around there. The grease thing goes on. Okay, so you see that ain't even on. Okay, now it's on. But my wife bought this little thing here because that means we don't want to spend time washing it so we put these throwaways here. And so that's that. It's complete. I'll say the whole thing took about 40 minutes to put together. And so there you have it. E-Series 22 inch 
Blackstone Electric Grid. Mm. And now y'all gonna know, shout out to all the channels that I watched that inspired me to get this, but this certainly isn't as big as I thought. I think, just because I'm a gadget guy, if this was a 48 inch, probably be way, way, way better electric 48 inch. But that means I might just go get another 22 inch, put them side by side, pop, 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 pop. I only got this for hibachi and Philly cheesesteaks. I'm not a breakfast guy, so if y'all guys wanted to make pancakes and sausages and eggs, have at it. That's not what Rev got it for. Rev got it for hibachi. Hibachi. This is high tempered oil. When I put it on here, and you see in this Airbnb, no smoke, even though I got mad smoke alarms and stuff here. Management had a gas leak, so they took out the pipe, so we ain't got no hot water and no gas for the stove. They handed out these little hot plates. <laughs> but I was complaining. And my wife said, you know what, babe? I got you. And she surprised me with a late Father's Day gift, early birthday present. So I am definitely pleased, which means now I'm ready to chef. Let me show you something else I got. I got some uh, Blackstone, the three-piece griddle. What do we call this again? Spatulas? Yeah, but what kind of spatulas? Silicone. Oh, okay, silicone spatulas because... Not plastic. Not plastic, high tempered silicone plastic uh, that will allow us to do uh, the Benihana chefing on here. So yeah, we went with that. I'll probably get more. I'll go on their website and see what else they got. But as y'all can tell, I'm ready to, <laughs> I'm ready to do that. No, That's what happens when you're a gadget guy like me. I'm starting to think, how convenient did this gas pipe get eroded well, around the same time that you was watching these videos? I ain't had nothing to do with I may that. have to investigate this one right here. I ain't here. had nothing to do with that. It's so convenient that at the time of you looking for this, all of a sudden, we ain't got no gas. <laughs> Nothing to do with that, dear. Okay, dear. I have everything to do with cooking some nice hibachi and let me all see how that came out. Maybe I'll even add it on to this video, but if not, listen, I do want to say thank y'all. I'll try to do more gadget posts. I guess maybe I should convert the name of the channel to Gadget Man or something to that effect. But uh, I'm a gadget man at heart. I'm all smart home. This Airbnb is my home. Our main home, as y'all saw in Miss Glamour Addict's video. I'm gonna take this time to ask y'all to go to Miss Glamour Addict's channel and look at our home renovation. Smart home down. Might convert this one to a, a different kind of smart home here, maybe. But thanks again. Go ahead and get your Blackstone E Series 22 inch griddle. Peace out. Okay, y'all, let's just see if I can get everybody over here for Chef Rev's hibachi experience. Just got this, just finished putting it up. So you know, I'm gonna do this hibachi thing. Full flavored. Of course, the building had a eroded gas pipe, so they gave everybody in the building a hot plate because there's no gas here. There's no hot water. So this came right on time. See when I can get everybody to come over and send y'all a menu. All right, family. So this is what it is. I got my uh, seasonings out, ready to start this thing here on this Blackstone. But first, I'm going to just clean this grill with y'all just so y'all can see how to clean the grill when you first use it now y'all can't feel this of course through the camera but it's hot it's hot like i can feel this 
So here, let me get this to my cameraman. And let me just go ahead and. I'm on the camera. I'm on the camera. Okay, let's get you together. And then let me. Uh, here we go. Get me some paper towels. I'm excited for what's to come from this. Oh wait, you filled in the thing. Okay. Okay. You got the little setup happening. So what's first thing first? What are you doing? I just want to <coughs> clean this here. And what is in that bottle? This is just water. Okay. And oh, look at the bubbles. Now you know that's non-stick. You see how it just went over? I like that. And just for the newbies that happen to be seeing this video for the very first time, um, the device that's in your hand, yeah, is that is plastic a, or? No, this is the uh, silicone uh, gripper thing. And is there a difference with why you use silicone versus plastic? For those who may not know? Yeah, this is a uh, high temperate. It's not gonna melt. Mm -hmm. All right, so y'all saw that you see the steam off it clean yeah. first use so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take out sap and oil same oil Benny Honda uses and I'm just gonna coat this thing here mm -hmm. and I'm also oh, gonna turn this temperature yeah. down yeah so I just put the oil on here what I'm doing I'm just coat coating it and you pretty much probably really don't have to do this because as you saw, this is a non-stick surface with this grill, which is why this is a dope thing to have in-house. Like we got this in our Airbnb and we could take this joint outside. Yeah, I wish it was like a 48 inch, but it's not. It's a 22 inch Blackstone E-Series griddle. So now with that being said, y'all stay right there. I am going to go ahead and start. Put my rice on. Now what y'all gonna see is me uh using two different types of rice. This is a first, so I'm gonna just try to uh, get some jasmine rice here. That's parboiled rice. Yes, par boil. And now you're adding... Now I'm adding some jasmine, jasmine rice. rice. Is there a reason why you mix in two rices? Uh, I just saw some people, and I just wanna try it out. Hey, Miss Glenn, are you laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the enjoyment that you're getting out of using this Blackstone E Series. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. honestly speaking, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the enjoyment. I'm enjoying seeing you enjoy what you're doing. Because the more you enjoy this, the less I have to do it. So. No, I'm showing you so that you can learn it. So that... Oh, no, you ain't showing me anything. I'm, I'm enjoying what you're doing. That's why I'm smiling so hard. Because you're very much enthused with what you're doing. So You can do this, what, three, four, five times a week? Maybe seven? Maybe ten times? <laughs> Okay, so what's next now? What's next is, let me just get some of my garlic butter. Oh, you making the heart shape like they do? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> the grill ain't wide enough for that. So 
this is the garlic butter here. We're just gonna put some on here. Let it cream down. And for those who are new watching this, the garlic butter, is that store-bought or? Well, it's store-bought, but it's made by me. Okay. So you made your own, so you made your own garlic butter. I made my own garlic butter. For those who might be interested, this is what it looks like. He made it himself. Roasted garlic and unsalted garlic. Unsalted with butter. Unsalted with butter. And this is how it came out. Uh, the reason for the darkening is due to the roasting of the garlic as well as him adding some um, additional ingredients in which he had list down in the description box below. Smells incredible, dear. No doubt. Now here's something that I noticed. Um, the little hole area over there where food tends to seep out goes into this uh, Oh, you can't see it, but it's a catch tray back here. So, I'm just adding that for myself. Now, they do, or well, I've seen in other videos, they have a device thing that you can put there to prevent that from happening. We haven't purchased it yet, so eventually we will. Do me a favor. Yes. Can you get me two eggs? Two eggs. for recipe purposes, what is the significance of the egg? Well, I see it done in Benny Hanna, so I'm just, I'm <laughs> so just, you just copying. Okay, you're just copying. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we can have rice and eggs. I don't do that poor man stuff. Ah, it's not a poor man meal. I like rice and eggs with cheese on it or rice and egg with ketchup. If anybody else out there eats just rice and egg or grew up eating rice and egg, do me a favor, comment down below. I'd like to get to know if others experience what I'm calling the joy of just rice and eggs. Rice and eggs. This is, is, is the soy sauce, so we just want to make this fried rice, give it some color. Next time y'all go to Benihana, you could tell them, Rev showed us how to make Benihana. And you know how I know how to do that? I asked Benihana. And then what if Benihana reached out to you and say, you gotta come here and chef it. 
Oh yeah, they can do that. <laughs> You'll leave the comfort of your home and go shop for them? No, nah, not really. The purpose of it is I like to know what I'm what I'm eating and I like to make it. You know, I'm just a gadget person. I just need a little help. Can you get me the onions out? Uh, uh. So I'm going to be your sous chef? Yeah, be my sous chef. And the cameraman? And the cameraman. And the taste tester? Well, the taste tester, yeah. Onion. Yeah. Particular kind of onion? No, they're just onions. Yellow, white? Scallions. Scallions? Okay, there's a difference. Now, I think I'm just adding all this garlic because generally you be asking for more garlic when we add the rest of it. Well, since I've seen how much garlic you've added, I'm comfortable with the amount of garlic you've done added. So don't add no more garlic. Uh, not on my request. <laughs> you don't have to add any more garlic. <laughs> uh, if you choose to do so when you start adding the rest of the things, you can just do mine on the other side separately. Hence the reason why I love this is a dual zone two-sided cooking. Yeah, I'm about to turn the, the rice down on the, on the right side. Okay. I'm about to start the vegetables. Okay. And because the surface is so small, I won't try to put everything on the grill at the same time. So I'll plate the rice and then so I'll I'll start on the vegetables. So then let me ask this question. Is it that the surface is too small or one should be mindful of the moderation in which they are cooking? Well, both, but you know, Benny Hannes, you're normally cooking for like eight people. And so I know it ain't eight people here, it's just you and I at the moment. Yeah. It's Practice like, makes perfect and this is the first cook. So for me, I would say, I would just be more mindful of the moderation in which the amount that I'm putting on the grill. Um, so I can keep the portions going correctly. I think this is a great size. To me, this is the same size of the actual stove. The width, if you got a four burner stove, is slightly smaller by width of a, of a four burner. Um, but if you're used to cooking on a four burner, then you can easily cook on this. I'm going to turn this down here. Okay. I'm going to turn this down to uh, 200 to keep it warm. 200. Okay. 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 It's time for some zucchini.
you get this and let me uh, get the mushrooms. We don't eat a lot of mushrooms anyway, so that should probably be enough. What I'm going to do is put some more oil on. garlic butter. Now I see that I'm going to have to let this simmer a little bit so it can start browning on one side. And I'll try not to flip it so that it can start browning. But I just wanna try to flip it until I get decoded with the uh, with the garlic butter. That's what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if that's how Benny Hanna does it. So we're gonna let this sit right here. It's still at 450 on the right side, as you can see. It's at 200 on the left. And now I'ma just put the lid down. And let that brown a little bit. So I believe, as Glam Addict said, it's the great thing about having the dual zone because this side is 200. That's just really staying at the temperature I wanted to. And this is still at 450. I started heating it up at five, but that's what it is. Chef Reb's first cook. I'll let y'all know how it's glamatic, me and the fam likes the first cook. And I'll be honest, if I'm trash, trash. But if I'm dope, like and subscribe. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this up. I did uh, do some uh, sauteing on this, so y'all didn't see that on camera, but as you can see, it's starting to caramelize there. But what I'm gonna do is just start plating this rice here. Now this is kind of a little hard to do, because I'm one-handed, mm -hmm. and I don't have the scooper, so pardon me. Well, if you want, I have to hold it. You recording, babe. Okay. Shrimp fried rice? Yeah, I want the shrimp in it, but I, I'm gonna do the uh, the protein separate. You know, when we did it uptown, I did everything together. Mm -hmm. I don't think this grill is big enough, but I do like it. You can edit this part out, but I'm gonna let it roll. Um, you're funny. You don't think this was big enough, but this is way bigger than what she was doing up town. I'm not big enough for putting uh, protein on the grill. Yeah. This is so much more space. <laughs> you got a whole hell. You got a hell of a lot more space to work with. On the grill, I, I put it in three pots. Yeah, and this. I mean, is, uh, up town, I put it in three pots. Oh, well, this is a hell of a lot more space. Um, thing. Yeah, get fire on you. Uh. All right, so what I didn't do was use the tray. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that tray and I'm gonna plate this. Instead of doing it with one hand, I'm gonna use what comes with it. Then I'm gonna clean this grill off and we're gonna start with the protein. So 
this I'm gonna clean it off, y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape it into my deposit reservoir. I mean, we're gonna use what it's used for. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start with the protein. Y'all give me a second. I'm gonna put this uh, zucchini and mushrooms up. Then I'm gonna come back. Still left this side over here on 200, so we cool. I'm only gonna cook right now on the uh, on the left side. Garlic butter. See, it's hard to use this thing. This is because I'm trying to do it like the Benny Hanna guy, keeping it kind of uniform and up. Otherwise, I just let the uh, cut pieces scissor, lip and turn. So what I did here, I just got the shrimp ready, about to do the chicken, then the beef, beef glass because it, it makes more of a mess, in my opinion, even at Benihana. I do not think this grill is big enough to do all of that on the grill at the same time like Benihana. So this is Benihana-ish. Push this over there because that's at 200. It's still at 450. So this is pretty much ready. So all I'm gonna do is gonna flip this one more time and push it to the side. Start the chicken. I'll make some teriyaki chicken or what would you like? 
No, I don't really want no chicken. So that's enough. Don't put um, too much. Okay, so I'll stop right here with the chicken. Come back with the uh, with the butter. Guys, and stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna make something on this grill. See what I can make on here. So what I'm going to do right now is um, I did the shrimp, the chicken, it's time to do some beef. And I just want to let y'all know with this oil, um, let me uh, coat the grill first. With this oil, it's high heat. It's no, uh, no smoke. Uh, so I got a bunch of smoke along with here. Let me just show you all what kind of oil I'm using. See this right here? This here is high temperature oil. So of all the things that I've cooked in here, from the rice, to the meats, to the shrimp, no smoking, no oil, no burning. So that's partly due to the grill, but that's largely due to the oil you use. So right now, I'm about to do some medium well uh, sirloin steak cubes. I don't know if you can call them cubes, man. They, they cut like strips. So what they call that, New York steak strips? So you know what the greedy gut says, and that's not me I'm talking about, but the greedy gut going more for me. All right, so all I'm gonna do is put some salt and pepper on that thing there. What is this stuff called? That's enough salt. 
not a big fan of salt, but it tends to rise for me. First, I'm going to let that brown a little bit before I put the garlic butter on. So let's just close this out and give it a second. So I'm just flipping them. You can see that that's almost medium well here. And now that it's close to medium well, what I'm going to do now is add the garlic butter. And give it about two minutes with the garlic butter on. Turn this side down to 200 again. And really just let this simmer off kind of. So this is medium well and this is done. I want y'all to notice how there's really no heat. Nothing is making my smoke alarms go off. Since everything is actually other than that plated, this actually concludes this Chef Benihana Rev style uh, Blackstone E. So the first patriots to Chef Rev, Benihana Rev. I said the first patriots that's including everybody. That's okay. Y'all are our first guests. Yeah, because next is Sincere, Soraya, and Keith. Oh, and Ice if he ever come by. How would taste, Taji? It's good? Tastes like Benny Hanna? The only thing missing is the lobster. The only thing missing is the lobster. So for the camera. Oh, so and what, lots of pork. To the chef. Compliments to the chef. Now, if you would just learn how to make my tempura and my coconut mojito, we could be in business. I don't make alcohol. <laughs> 